Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with my league progress. Uh, I don't know how long into the league we are, maybe like two weeks in. I've been playing for seven days, although none of that's actually accurate. And I wanted to kind of just talk to you guys a little bit of what uh, we'll be doing in the league. So we've actually farmed up quite a bit of, uh, bit of currency. I'm up to 1,000 Chaos, 15 Exalteds, and a bunch of other stuff just kind of all across the board. Uh, but that's not what's important. What's important is I've finally figured out another way to improve the Righteous Fire character just a little bit for my own personal playstyle. Uh, so what I actually did is I ended up acquiring a Green Dream, which was, I think I bought it for 200 Chaos. Um, and Green Dream states that passives granting cold resistance uh, or all resistance in a radius grant an equal chance to gain a Frenzy Charge. Meaning that Elementalist now turns into an additional 12% chance to gain a Frenzy Charge on kill. And the only thing we lost is a jewel with a little bit of life and a little bit of damage. Uh, but I would much rather take the 12% attack speed and 12% more damage from the Frenzy Charge generation, which is up 100% of the time while mapping it, with the exception of just the bosses. So I personally really, really, really like this. And just to show you guys a little bit of how it works, I'll just go into like a simple... Uh, there's, here it is. I don't want to run a whole map right now, I just woke up. <laughs> And there's two frenzy charges and there's three so I've personally really really been liking this this small little change I don't really have too much else to do with the character um, the number one thing off the top of my head is probably replacing this with an opal ring uh, that's essence crafted kind of similar to this one um, but that's gonna be really annoying to try to craft so I'm thinking I could potentially drop purity or sorry I could drop vitality and instead of running Vitality, I could run a Purity of Lightning, which would make this ring a lot easier to replace because Purity of Lightning would literally knock off that 45 Lightning res. I'm pretty sure. How much does Purity of Fire give, actually? Purity of Fire gives me 44. So yeah, I could literally just knock off that 45 Lightning res roll and just roll an Opal Ring with life, a little bit of Cold res, and some All res, and I would be good to go. But I would lose the 2% regen from Vitality, or 1.75, which is really not that much. And I would gain 5% max lightning res, so I would lose an effective, not even that much, 150 life per second? 200, is it? It's like about 200 life per second, but I would gain, um, like I said before, 5 max lightning res. And all I need to do for that is get a 21 purity of lightning and just link it with my empower here. Um, I did try leveling some purities. They didn't actually work. They all bricked, unfortunately. Where'd they go? They're in the sales tab here now. So I'm back to my Scorching Rays and my Weapon Swap. And then I might actually just go ahead and level some more purities after that. Um, we've got our Trapper gear pretty much set. I just haven't really been interested in playing my Trapper as of right now. I've just really been enjoying my RF character. We're level 96 at 81%, so next stream is going to be level 97, which will push us back into 11k life because we'll respec... Uh, born to fight and we'll have two points then from our level up so we'll go attack speed into armor and evasion which will like i said put us back at 11k which is pretty nice i've also got quite a few beachhead maps saved up where are they over here um it was this two four six eight ten twelve sixteen eighteen twenty i've got 20 beachhead maps i think i get maybe two percent xp out of the map uh right now so realistically, if I chain these with another person, this is like 80% XP. I'd like to say I could be wrong on my numerics. Um, I don't want to do like a six-man group. I might look into finding one more person to run these with, though, uh, just to help with the cash stack because it'll be a, a lot easier. It'll just be a lot cheaper um, to run them with another person, potentially maybe even a support or someone else. I might even be able to carry two men HP. I'm not exactly sure for these ones. Uh, Bog so far has been my favorite map of all time in 3.0. Uh, I have gotten ridiculous amounts of returns from Bog. I've gotten a Taste of Hate out of Bog. Uh, I've gotten a Void Battery out of Bog. And the map returns have been phenomenal. Uh, I'm also really taking a liking to Abyss. I've got a, a bunch of 20% quality Abysses here that will run as well. Uh, the reason why I like Abysses is because you can get Steel Rings out of them. And you can also get the Corrupted Divination card or the Divination card for the Corrupted Combs Heart, and a lot of people are playing uh, with Combs right now, so that's super good money making. 
terms of our atlas we haven't really done too much to it i did add in an ashen wood uh, over here for t12 because i feel from my personal experience ashen wood has been giving me much better experience than race course due to the density however i make a lot more currency out of race course than i do ashen wood due to the triple bosses i have noticed that in this game now, if you enrage bosses, like for example in Bog, or if you have triple bosses, so for example, Cemetery, Courtyard, Race Course, they have such beautiful drops. Whether it's map return or just chances of hitting the T1, T2 unique roll, it is significantly higher from my personal experience in these types of maps. Um, and I know that as well because I probably ran 25, 30 Ashen Woods. I got maybe five maps out of them. Like, that's it. That's nothing. And that happened to me as well in Breach League when I was leveling to 100 on my Blight character. I decided to just say fuck it to Ashenwood and not even bother with it. However, it's different though. It's okay because since a bunch of things were nerfed, Ashenwood's density is still really good. It's just the boss drops are shit. Um, but to be fair, I think the boss drops in a lot of places are shit. So in this specific example, like I said, Racecourse has the triple boss and Bog has the... Uh, Bog has the enraged boss that you can you can sacrifice the eggs to for some loot. So I've really been liking that. Um, I do have to get my four corrupted guardians on the atlas for an extra 4% bonus objective completion. And then I'll probably buy a shaper kill for another 1% completion. Um, I don't really want to risk my character against shaper if I'm going for 100. So we'll see with that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do challenge hunting or not. That's another thing we need to figure out. Because I can knock off quite a few of these. Like, was this? Complete unique maps. Hall of Grandmasters. Olmex saying... I've never done Olmex? Really? Do I have an Olmex? Or did I sell them all? I think I sold them all. Let me go buy an Olmex to run while we're doing this. We can just talk some more. POE.trade. Oh, whoops. That's actually my music that we're not supposed to go over. Just kidding. Olmex Sanctum. I think I got confused because I got a, uh, what is it? I didn't Olmex, but it was from a Zana map, so it didn't actually work. And then we'll just move this guy over here. They're all AFK, man. POE.AFK, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? I was explaining to my stream the other day that I think the next expansion that uh, that pops into Path of Exile should be the fall of PoE.trade, uh, and it should be implying that we get our own like trade system. Let's uh, let's message another guy here. Mhm. Mm uh, just in case I'm. Uh... Okay, I know Teddy is on. I know for I know this guy, Teddy. You are definitely here, right? You are a pillar of the community, Teddy. Solemn halls. What is the solemn halls? Wrong league? What? How am I in the wrong league? What? Okay, so somehow, I don't know how this is possible, but my PoE trade just randomly switched to regular Harbinger instead of hardcore Harbinger. Is that like a is that like a common thing to do with uh, PoE trade? Because that's never happened to me before. Hardcore Harbinger. Okay, let's try this again. Search. Path of Exile, Unfair Monopoly, Harbinger, 557 results. Dude, I do not know what's happening. Okay, team. I don't know if I have a virus on my computer or if I'm dreaming right now, but PoE Trade is scamozzing me right now. So we're just going to have to leave that alone, and uh, you guys can take my word for it that I can clear Olmex uh, without dying on my character. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it in terms of like league progress. I haven't really decided if we're gonna unlock uh, some more maps. I know people are saying they really like Vault. I think Vault is a T12 map. Um, and uh, Vault is the one that you can get like exalted orbs out of, that I believe. So if I get bored of my Ashenwood, I can go ahead and switch Ashenwood over to Vault and try out the Vault strats and see how those go as well. Anyway, though, that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you guys is just give you guys a little update with what is going on in the league. Um, so far, we are pushing towards 100. Probably be there ETA like two to three weeks because I'm not really interested in playing 62 hours a day and mapping 
Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty much about it, though. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.